There is a lot of debate around bacon, which is the best method cooked perfect bacon. And I think the air fryer is absolutely unbeatable. Today, I'm going to show to you how to make the perfect crispy bacon. <laughs> this American staple is the best cooked in the air fryer. Let me show you how. All right, guys, I'm so excited today to show to you how you can cook super easy this bacon in your air fryer. For today's recipe, I choose a medium thickness bacon. It's not that thick, it's not that thin. It's applewood smoked, it's uncured. It is beautiful. I have here eight slices of this fantastic bacon. I'm gonna show you different way that you can use spices. So one, the first two will be a little bit of uh, peppercorn. The second one, one of my favorite spices is um, honey smoked habanero, um, it's beautiful spice. The third one is gonna be a little bit of smoked paprika, simple as that. And the third one I'm gonna show to you later. It's gonna be candied bacon. I'm gonna show to you how you can make a fantastic candy bacon inside your fryer. For today's recipe, I'm using the Kosori, and this is a little tip. You can use just one glass of water cold water simple as that at the bottom of your basket why this because the fat will render a lot and will create a lot of smoke if it goes in the water first you create much less mass and second you will have much less smoke a simple trick they will, will work perfectly in alternatively what you can do is put some bread to absorb the fat. I, I don't like that kind of method, but this is entirely up to you. For today, I'm gonna do two cooking separate. The first one, I just lay four slices of bacon. Actually, I think for the Kosori, this is the Kosori 5.8 quart, you can easily put eight slices because they're gonna shrink a lot. But for showing to you and for the perfect cooking, probably four is perfect. Now, let's see here, there's still a little bit of smoke comes that comes out of the air fryer. Don't worry, it's all fine, it's okay. It's just a little bit of smoke. This is the peak halfway through. Now, a little trick, halfway through, as always with the air fryer, what we want to do is take our tongue, it's very hot, but smells delicious, and just flip it over. Flip it over and give it again the space to the air to flow and fry our bacon at the best way possible. I'm cooking this bacon at 400 degree Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. If you have more thickness or little thickness, you can adjust a little bit the time between 10 to 12 minutes. All right, guys, before showing to you how I make candied bacon, please give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying the video and subscribe if you want to see more fry recipes. And now let's check this highly addictive bacon. All right, now I'm gonna go back and show to you with the last two slices what I'm gonna do. It's simple, take, sugar in this case i'm gonna use cane sugar light one light brown sugar um, i think is the best for creating that kind of uh, candied bacon which is so delicious the ratio for each slice that i like is to use about one teaspoon per slice i know it seems a lot but in order to get a candied taste you need to put a little bit of sugar press it in the in your slices so you will get a lot of flavor out of this uh, thick cut or medium cut uh, bacon now what you want to do is after you put the spice just let it set for a little bit to let it um, uh, utilize the bacon at room temperature but you will start with your air fryer actually from cold i think if you start from cold you will just render down the bacon better i think it's, you get better results like that now this is uh, a peak halfway through of the uh, candied bacon it starts to look absolutely amazing is is the smells is fantastic i wish you could smell and before showing you the final results if you would like to see more fried breakfast recipes i'm gonna drop for you a link here so you can check it out and also down below in the description let's see now how the candied bacon turn it out. What you want to do also is to flip this and as you can see, I lay down a little bit of paper on, on a plate. This will just absorb 
uh, the um, fat. Now, as you can see here, since I put water, there is a little bit of water leakage. Again, no problem at all. It won't create any damage to your Kosori fryer. So, when we cook the uh, bacon, we want to do two things. The first tip is to lay on the paper, as I was saying before, to absorb the excess of fat. Don't worry, you don't need to put on a rack. I don't think it's um, it's a game changer. And second, you want to let it cool down. All right, guys, as you can see, it's very easy to make. We have a lot of different ingredients that we can put on the bacon. They taste all amazing. Let's, let's just give a try to the candied bacon, which is one of my favorite. Mmm, guys. Sweet, salty. It has a nice bite to it. It is not too crunchy, so crumbly. It is still a little bit soft inside. Absolutely the perfect method to cook bacon is the in the air fryer. That's a must if you have an air fryer. Try this recipe. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your friend. Comment down below. And I'll see you soon.